Hey YouTube, Turtle Lags here, bringing you another AFK Journey video. Today I'm going to go over the optimal team for tackling the Alpha Bear, specifically the Elite form of Alpha, or I'm sorry, the Epic form of Alpha Bear. We did confirm yesterday that um, after Epic is not Endless, it's actually Hell mode. So it goes Epic, then Hell, then Endless mode, most likely. Uh, so we are probably on the third to strongest alpha bear like dream realm boss at, at the present time and uh, Just to kind of give you some context as of this recording. I am resonance level uh, 326 327 ish Hey, you all right? Did someone call for me in the unyielding light? Judgment. Okay, and actually I think what I'll do if you guys don't mind. Let me just that all right so uh, this is basically as per usual I'm going to go over alpha bear's kit uh, how to team build against this boss I'm going to showcase what I believe to be the strongest build uh, against the alpha bear and then of course we'll go over some free-to-play examples uh, yes Odie is a good boy for sure Yes, hi say Reggie, thanks for... Oh, good morning Reggie, you're on YouTube by the way. Alright, so... This is the team that I believe has the best chance against the Alpha Bear. Basically you're going to run Smokey as an offensive healer. You're going to run um, Corrin as a two position melee unit that can also shield your units which is especially powerful against the alpha bear because the alpha bear's honey makes it so that 80% of your heals is like mitigated basically your healing is only like a fraction as effective as it normally is you're going to run Rainier to protect your DPS OD when he's EX10 plus increasing OD's attack percent, plus you know decreasing the attack percent of the Dream Realm boss, as well as making him take 25% increased damage. And of course you have Coco uh, to, for the 45% damage mitigation, as well as the shields, which are also very important since your heals are only going to be a fraction as if effective for honeyed units. Now, um, Alpha Bear, the way he works is that he basically covers uh, each enemy with honey uh, first with the front row units and then working his way to the back row units. And if you have two units within the same row, like say, like you notice how different characters they're like, like my Coco is four range, right? Uh, Odie, who is 5 range, when he gets teleported to the Alpha Bear, he'll be 1 range. And then Korn, he's a 2 range unit. Uh, Rainier, he's a 5 range unit. Smokey, he is position 1, 2, 3 tiles away from Alpha Bear, so he's like 3 range unit. So, uh, essentially you want to assemble a group of five units that are each a different range, no, range number. That way, no more than one of your units are honeyed at any given time. Now there's ways to kind of like slow down the honeying process even further by for instance, uh, you know, uh, having Floorbell on your team. But from my playtesting, Floorbell has not been as effective. And to be frank, Floorbell is not as accessible as the other units. So I, I might not showcase her. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, just kind of going over Alpha Bear's kit again. Uh, you know, he summons a swarm that deals 110% damage per second to each enemy covered in honey for three seconds. When all enemy heroes are marked with honey, a mega swarm is summoned, dealing 200% damage per second till the end of battle. So basically, once all five of your units are honeyed, he's going to basically like kill your team really fast, probably within the next four to five seconds. Uh, so it is in your best interest to slow down the honeying process with what I told you earlier about having units of different range. Um, yeah, and it just talks about how he throws honey at the enemy, marking them until the end of battle. Healing received 
on the marked enemies reduced by 50% cannot be dispelled and as you fight higher and higher leveled alpha bears the healing effectiveness decreases even further thank you turtle i just got into epic difficulty with the bear using the same position in team except corin because i don't have him at mythic plus yet i use floorbell nice nice okay so that's actually good to know so as woke boomer suggested he did very well with floorbell who is uh, this unit right here Yeah, this unit right here, uh, our previous event character. Uh, she happens to be in the five range position. Uh, so, you know, do keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so, uh, and then I think the rest of it is just, yeah, throwing a Terra Ball at you. Uh, okay, and it talks about how he throws honey at enemies in adjacent tiles. So that's, that's the reason why I say try to have a unit in one of each position. Because say if you have two units at the one position, both of them will be honeyed, right? Because they're on adjacent, they could be on adjacent tiles. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the showcase so you guys can see how this works. Yeah, so as you can see, Odie was teleported to the one position. He will be honeyed first and it'll be denoted by, okay, so he's honeyed. Yeah, see, my Odie was honeyed. Actually, my corn was honeyed too. Interesting. Oh, the honey is actually going pretty fast. So he's he honeyed my. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He honeyed my Odie, then he honeyed my Smoky, and I think pretty soon he's gonna honey my corn. Oh, I have it on slow mo, so I can kind of see where the honey is going. And as you can see, Coco's shields and Coco's shields are very useful. And the reason why I recommend Evocation as spell is because you alternate between high damage output with the second and fourth spirits attack and haste buff. And then uh, the first and third buff provide 45% um, damage mitigation and and also 35% leech rate at the same yeah for those spirits. So I do like those a lot. Okay, so at this point, corn, ooh, and yeah, they're barely hanging on, barely hanging on. That's why you have Coco. Uh, yeah, four of my units have been honeyed. It's just my uh, my Coco that has not been honeyed yet. But once Coco is honeyed, then my team will die pretty quick. So actually my team kind of died towards the end there, but this is actually quite normal uh, because uh, with uh, the alpha bear as well as the lone wolf, their damage ramps up quite a bit once they achieve certain objectives. Like in the lone gaze's case, he once he picks up a KO, he can pick up more KOs easier. In alpha bear's case, you know, the more honeys he plops down, the less I heal, and the more likely I'm going to be in killable range. And so as you can see here, Odie did the majority of the damage there. Corrin did decent damage as well because, you know, he does do true damage on the enemy. So, um, you know, very powerful. Uh, now, if you don't have Rainier Mythic Plus, then what are your options? You could try Floribel. Now, if you don't have Floribel, you could try uh, maybe someone like Kruger as well. Actually, Kruger would be great because um, he would take the one position. So actually, let me do Kruger first because that'll be more relatable. Uh, where's Kruger? Kruger taking the one position. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll try this. And I'm keeping... Oh, I probably could have gone a sword spell that time, the red one. But... Oh, you know, the reason I spread everyone out was because I was trying to um, have Kruger get his buff. But actually, my positioning was wrong, so I'll probably need to redo that with more optimal positioning. What you should do, actually, is have Kruger on his lonesome on one side and stack the other units the way I had it before. That was a little too creative. I mean, it only slowed down our DPS by a little bit, probably, because you you notice that uh, two of my units were outside the, the attack buff range. But um, I think for the most part, this should be an accurate representation of what a free-to-play uh, formation would look like. So I'm curious how this will perform. I mean, during the time that your units are being honeyed, uh, you just want to get as much damage output as possible. Ooh. Okay, so 15.8, Bill. <laughs> a bit of experience, a bit of luck. 78.2. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad, and Kruger did a decent amount of damage. Now, we could try that again with better formation, and this time... Uh, doing the sword spell instead. So that's what I'll do. We'll do the the quick blade spell instead. Yep. All right, let's give it a try. He's still not perfect. Uh, Kruger is still outside the attack buff range, but it was a little better positioning than before. Seems to me that the hunting process happened pretty quick in the beginning. Both Kruger and Smokey will be the first ones to be honeyed. And the reason why you would run uh, this spell, Quick Blade spell, is because uh, the Quick Blade spell applies a 35% physical defense shred. Uh, it also applies stuns, which won't matter in this battle, but additionally it offers 35.2% physical and magic defense. Ooh, interesting. So that may have been some RNG, or maybe he ramps up the damage once you achieve a... S Ooh, interesting. So that was actually worse. That was actually worse. Because I think we hit 78% last time. I actually don't remember. But anyways, regardless, it was pretty close, the scores. And then, um, yeah, actually, uh, Kruger did even more damage there. So uh, those would be my recommendations against this boss. You could also try doing the... Um, so if I was to go back out of curiosity. Well, let's begin our lesson. The world needs balance. So this time we can try with Floor Bell. I'm going to swap back to the evocation. Uh, let's see if Floribel performs better than Corn. Now, uh, this time I think three of my units were honey, because, remember, when two units are on adjacent tiles, they will both be honey. So actually, it doesn't seem like it's slowing down the process, because as soon as I summon the rightmost summon, he already got honeyed, so I kind of wonder, yeah, interesting, hmm, I don't think Floribel slows down the honeying process like some people are saying, yo Cardax, good to see you, good to see you, you're on YouTube, my free to play is same as for the wolf, 
Sessia Thorn Coco Smoky Odi. So thank you for the suggestion before. So that is another team that you could try out. With um, Sessia, she does summon a character. So, um, you know, maybe she could do more damage there. Or not do more damage, slow down the hunting process more. 16.5 bill. Okay, so that was Perfection not as no much as before. 81.8 81. is still pretty good. Floor bill did decent damage there. So that was that. And I just want to check something. Yeah, so 83. So I scored an extra 2% with corn instead of floor bill. Yeah. So, okay, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I don't want it to be too long. If you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section below. I do live stream on twitch.tv forward slash turtle So you can catch me live there if you have any questions or want me to kind of review your account. Um, anyways, I'll catch you in the next video.